This Friday marks 100 years since the start of the Battle of the Somme, the most deadly battle of the First World War. Today we follow the story of Sidney Lewis, who left home to fight in the battle aged just, well, 12 years old. The youngest soldier in the war, his house in Tooting, will receive a blue plaque. Sarah Harris has more. It was one of the bloodiest conflicts in human history. The Battle of the Somme started in the trenches of France a hundred years ago this week during World War I. Thousands answered the call to sign up and incredibly one of them was Sidney Lewis from Tooting at just 12 years old. His son Colin says it's only recently his story about fighting on the front line at such a young age has been confirmed by official documents. He never spoke about it really and none of the family ever spoke about it. It was only after he died and my grandmother had died and uh, an uncle who had all the papers died that all this came to light. He'd never said anything except once to me. He said he was in the uh, First World War and quite honestly I hadn't believed him because I thought he was too young. And I regret that now because I would like to have said I'm proud of your dad. He is the youngest that we know about so far. I mean, now residents in Tooting have clubbed together for a plaque outside the house where Sydney left to fight for his country. At over six feet, he was tall for his age and lucky to have survived the Battle of the Somme for six weeks before his mother had him recalled. She found out when a neighbour who I think was, her dad, was a soldier on the battlefields came back, knocked on the door and said, um, did you know that your Sydney is, is actually in the firing line on the battlefields at the moment? So, um, so she went and uh, located his um, proof of his, birth, of his birth because he was still six years under age and um, sent that off to the military authorities and they wrote back to her and said that the lad will be dispatched forthwith. At the Lewis's local church, prayers will be held for all those who lost their lives and for Sydney, a child who probably didn't realise what he was getting into. First of all, I think it started off as an adventure and it was good, but then it became, at the Somme, terrifying and terrible. Colin will attend a ceremony putting up the plaque to Sydney later in the year. It was the ultimate tale to tell his grandchildren. Sadly, it was only after his death they realised he wasn't exaggerating and his bravery is finally being recognised. Sarah Harris, BBC London News.